with the VTB Kremlin Cup on the horizon, Russian next-gen star Andrei Rublev took the chance to show us around his home city of Moscow. When I'm in Moscow, I stay with my mom and dad. I have no place, one place where I'm always. The 20-year-old sat down with his tennis coaching mother and current coach, Fernando Vicente, at the Rublev family restaurant. She's still a tennis coach, she still has uh, many kids, and she's working every day. Andre loved tennis since forever. Maybe because I mothered him and continued to work as a coach, I took him along to all the practice sessions all of the time. When he was still a boy, he would watch the children play tennis from the buggy. And when he grew up a bit, he picked up a racket and started to crawl with it. He had a racket-shaped rattle toy. <laughs> Yeah, my first day of school was, uh, you can see my face, I'm really happy there. This is the Gimme Trophy because I finished the year number one in the world under 18. This is the trophy because I win the junior masters, the one that was first year, first top eight, eight players. That one is a Russian award because I finished also number one in the world under 18. And this is the junior Roland Garros, when I win uh, Roland Garros. This picture, on this picture I was playing the match uh, against the guy who was three years older than me and I was like 10 or 9 years old and he was one of the best ones at that moment at his age and uh, I had a long match against him, it was close match. So, and everybody was surprised. Going surfing wall, yeah? <laughs> Trying to copy Nadal. All uh, in the Rafa clothes. So we've met Andre's mother. How about his father? Andre's dad used to be a boxer. A fiery nature runs in the family. And Rublev's powerful shots will be worth watching at the next-gen ATP Finals. Next-generation players are going to compete each other, so it's going to be really interesting. In a couple of weeks, we're going to see everything. I'm happy that Andre is there because uh, he's showing everybody that he's on the way. The way he hit the ball is almost the same. If you look at him, uh, the way he hit, like aggressive like that, uh, you can feel like something coming from here also. The last preseason was uh, where I was doing really good fitness, I was doing really good tennis, I improved really huge. Because before I wasn't working in the purple and they were starting earlier, so now they're a little bit more in front of me, so now I have to work double to, you know, to catch them. Well, we need to work on his body because it's the main thing, in my opinion, he, and they have amazing shots from baseline he can play with everybody. And the rest, we have to work also in returns, surf, and the mobility is special. And uh, the main thing is also his mental part is, is important. Finally for the Rublevs, there was a stroll around Andre's childhood tennis club, where he reflected on his rise up the Emirates ATP rankings. I mean, I didn't expect that. I wanted to be in some high ranking, but I never, I didn't put goals to be top 100 or to, to be top 50 in the end of the year. If I do everything right, then I was thinking that for sure I'm going to have some results. Everybody ready? Yes! <laughs> Told you! Now we're done! <laughs>